getting some, some complaints here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not against what you're doing, but we're getting some complaints. Um, you guys should be more comfortable doing this with a one-on-one -on -one people that want to talk with you. Unfortunately, Colton, the crowd is out here. I prefer to talk to the crowd. Um, I have a constitutional right to do what I'm doing, just like they have a constitutional right to be out here and say what they want to say or play music or whatever the case may be. I understand some people are going to be offended. That's why we have free speech in this country. And I'm I, I understand that. I mean, I'm just, you know, this, this is here for the, for the enjoyment of everybody. I want to enjoy it too. I, I'm going to stop preaching well before any fireworks I, actually I start. I, I don't know just yet, but I can guarantee you before it falls dark, um, it'd probably be 45 minutes to an hour, really, that, I, that I'm out here. But before it falls dark, I, I'll stop because I want to watch the fireworks. That's why I got a seat right here. I understand you want to watch fireworks. People here want to enjoy, want to enjoy themselves with their family. Uh, right, and I, I want them, I want them to enjoy themselves. Okay. But at the so same you're, time, you're at, interrupting that that enjoyment that they're that they're having right now. And, okay. Uh, I mean, and that's not against the law. It's not against the law for me I to speak it's out. Not against the law, but I mean, you're. So you're basically, 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 what you're saying is the words that I'm speaking. Or upsetting people because there's a guy that's over there that's talking on a, a mic from time to time mm -hmm. okay so because he's speaking words that's pleasing to the crowd that's okay because I'm speaking words that are not pleasing to the crowd We're not that's not okay well the First Amendment doesn't work that way the way the First Amendment works it protects the speech that people don't want to hear if it if, if we wouldn't need a First Amendment if you know the people always wanted to hear the speech mm -hmm. all right so it protects speech that people don't want to hear that's the whole reason we have a first amendment i'm not i'm not talking about anything illegal going on i'm not talking mm -hmm. about const constitution right now i'm just talking about people are trying to enjoy themselves and i got it a human being i mean can you see that you're upsetting them and that Cole, can i ask you a question yes. sir um if you don't this is a personal question are you a christian yes i am okay you believe in heaven and hell right yes, I do. all right so Jesus Christ said that the broad is the road that leads to destruction and many that, are in, that go therein. He said most people are going to go to hell. And he told his disciples, he says, to go out into all the world, teach them the things that I've taught you. And so when I go out, I'm following the command of Jesus Christ. I know there's a hell. You say you're a Christian. You know there's a hell. If we believe that there's a hell, there is nothing more loving that I could do is to put the seed out there to these people. It may be, it may inconvenience them. Officer, it may inconvenience them a little bit. I got that, all right? I'm sensitive to that, all right? I'm sitting here with my wife. I want to enjoy the festivities at some point. I'm sensitive to that. But I also have to obey my king. It's like you're given orders and you go and you follow your orders. Mm -hmm. I've been given orders from my king. My king said to go out into the highways, into the hedges, and to compel them to come in. He, said, he didn't say, hey, wait until, you know, they're receptive. You know, wait until they're not complaining. He said, go out into the highways and the hedges. That, do you see how, how a one-on-one -on -one communication with people who are receptive to it and who want to hear and who want to talk with you, do you, do you see how that can be? Well, I just got finished doing a one-on-one. -on -one. So one-on-ones uh, -on are going to take place. That's a natural byproduct of me preaching the gospel. Okay, you know, a natural I, byproduct of this also is people are going to get mad. That's okay. People are going to approach you. That's okay. It could be in a hostile manner. Well, that, then, 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 then basically at that point, because I'm not out here to have any hostilities with anybody. Mm -hmm. I'm just out here to preach the gospel. You see, I'm sitting down. I'm relaxing. I understand. Okay, that. so if somebody comes up here and does something that you may perceive as being hostile or whatever the case may be, then I would expect you as an officer of the law to protect me. I absolutely will. Okay, because I'm telling you that I am not going to do anything. To prevent that. Well, uh, listen, officer, people are going to be offended by the speech, okay? Mm -hmm. The gospel is offensive to people who don't want to hear it. If I'm out here preaching that homosexuality is a sin and we got four or five homosexuals out there in the crowd, yeah, they're going to be offended by that, all right? If I'm out here preaching that adultery is wrong and we got some people sleeping with somebody else's wives and stuff, they're probably going to be offended by that. Mm -hmm. The gospel is going to offend people. But the whole point of the gospel is that it convicts people, it shows them their but sin, and it helps really to expose them to Christ. Right now. You're just you, don't, mad. you don't know. You don't know that. The people that I've talked to, you're... Have you you're talk, I'm going to ask you the same question that I asked Bart. Have you talked to every person out here? I've not talked to every person. Okay, so you cannot know with certainty who is sitting back and just listening to what I'm saying and maybe even agreeing with what I'm saying. I'm sure there's plenty of people here that are agreeing with you, but there's also people here that, that you're upsetting. So I'm just asking you, as a favor, would you, would you consider 
doing a one-on-one, -on -one, walking around one-on-one -on -one with people and inviting them to speak with you. You, you. What you're asking me to do is stop preaching. No, I'm not. Not at all. No, no, no. That's what you're asking me to do. The word preach, officer, means to cry out. It means to speak out loud. Mm -hmm. That's what the word preach means. So you're asking me to stop preaching. Nope, that's not at all what I'm Okay, well, well I'm telling you. Get in, if we want to get into the base definition of words and stuff, we, we could do that. We could drag words out all day long. What okay. I'm asking you to do is, is go on a one-on-one -on -one basis with people who are willing and receptive to your words. And, and we want to hear what you've got to say right now. Instead of using this megaphone. And okay, well, I'm asking you to have them turn the music off because I'm not receptive to this music. But, see, I'm, I'm complaining about the music, okay? I am not receptive to the music. I want you, I will stop preaching if you go over there and tell them to stop with the music. I am, I am not receptive that, to the music. That's, that's, that's a completely different topic. So it's, it's authorized. This has been authorized by the Constitution. And the Constitution supersedes the city. I got it. You're asking me to do a favor that supersedes Christ's command. And I'm telling you, and as a fellow Christian, you say you're a fellow Christian, I'm telling you that that's wrong, all right? What you should do is you should let the people know who come up here, if someone does come up here, hey, look, I know you guys don't agree with it. I can appreciate that. Yeah, you guys may not like it. Yeah, this guy may, in your estimation, have picked a terrible time to do this. However, he does have the right to do it. He did say he was going to stop here relatively soon. At, at the appointed time, and he was not going to interrupt your fireworks festivities, but I got to let him preach because he's not breaking any laws. So I'm not willing to just go off and do one-on-ones uh, without having preached. Now, if I preach, I get a little tired, then yeah, I may get up and walk around and do some one-on-ones, but I'm not going to give up my rights just because you asked me. You're a nice gentleman. I really appreciate the way you approached me, all right? I, I didn't say that up front. Thank you, all right? I really appreciate the way you approached me. But with all that being said, I'm not going to I'm not going to cede my rights. OK, I have rights to do this. I'm not breaking any law. If you told me, hey, sir, you're breaking a law. I pack up. I go on my way. But until you say I am breaking a law and you ex you show me which law I'm actually breaking, then I'm going to exercise my rights to do this, just like they're exercising their rights. All right. I appreciate you talking with me. All right, sir. What's your name again? Colton Pettner. Colton Pettner. All right, nice to talk to you, Colton. Like I said, I'm not trying to be, you know, a jerk or anything, all right? I'm not. I'm just trying to follow what my Lord said to do, the Great Commission. Okay. I'm an evangelist. This is what I do. I go out to places, and they don't want to hear what I have to say. Mm -hmm. I go out to the gay pride parades. You think they want to hear us out there? No, no. and they get pretty hostile, all right? And the police, they let us do our thing because they understand the guys aren't breaking the law, mm -hmm. all right? If the guys are breaking the law, tell us what the law is. We'll modify, we'll move, we'll do what we got. I'm telling you, I will be completely lawful. And I, and I appreciate that. I mean, we're just going to have to agree to disagree that there's better ways to go about it. Okay. All right. Well, we're talking about methods. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I, I concur with you that we should probably agree to disagree. But as long as I'm being lawful, then I'm going to proceed to preach. All right. All right. All right. Thanks, sir. Have a good night. Good All right. Problems.